Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing okay. Everyone's healthy and um, getting through the quarantine okay. So I've been doing a little bit of cleaning today and I thought I would film my Balenciaga collection video. I mentioned wanting to do this in the past. Um, someone requested it. And whilst I was back in Vietnam, I managed to film quite a bit of my Balenciaga ready to wear collection because I have quite a bit of it there. Um, and then the rest of it is here. So I'm gonna share with you guys um, what I have. I'm in my closet today, I'm keeping it simple. I don't wanna bring it everything out. There's so much, I, I piled a bunch of ready to wear on my on my love seat, sorry. Got a couple of shoes um, and small accessories. I don't have a lot of small leather, I don't have, a lot of, I don't have any small leather goods actually from Balenciaga and I have like maybe several bags. I of course have like the city bag, the really popular um, bag that Balenciaga was super known for. Um, I think I got that like when I was still in high school. Um, that I have it in yellow, which I'll pop a picture up. I didn't manage to film that one. Um, so that I left in Vietnam, as well as some jewelry pieces. I have like the studded cuff that was really popular. I don't know. I'm sure you guys can um, will remember it if I show you a picture. Um, they were super popular. I left that one there. I have several here. I've got these really cool bracelets. Um, this is just a yellow leather one, and this one is this really gorgeous python material. I love the color, the neon at the back, so pretty. Um, so I have these bracelets here, and then of course the earrings I recently shared. Um, so those are the only like kind of accessories, jewelry-wise, I have from Balenciaga. So while we were on bags earlier, I might as well just get the other three that I have and share those ones um, because most of this video is going to be ready to wear. I don't know, that's maybe not for everybody, but I love Balenciaga ready to wear. They have amazing stuff. Um, but let's see, I'm going to show you guys <clears throat> the three bags I own. I have this one which I bought in Venice um, several years ago. Um, it's not a super popular bag, I don't see a lot of people with it. I think the ones I've seen are like bigger maybe, but I got in the small size. The leather scratches quite a bit, so it is pretty, you can see the wear on it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Um, it's not the easiest bag to, to use because the zipper at the back is just like really cumbersome to get to. And I don't know, it's just not an easy bag to use basically. So I didn't use this bag all that much, but I think it's cute. I think it looks a bit dated now. I don't, I don't think I will use this um, for a little bit. I also have the Balenciaga bum bag, which is probably my most recent like bag purchase from Balenciaga. I think I purchased this um, several months ago. I, m I must have hauled this from Netta Porter or something like that. Um, got it and I wore it to Spice Girls and it's just good to like go anywhere concert wise or where you want to be dancing. And then the last Balenciaga kind of bag I guess, this is a clutch, is this one and it's just this really simple white envelope style clutch with Balenciaga. Um, I just thought this would, be, this would be classic. I think I got this at Dover Street Market in Singapore or something like that. By the way guys, I don't own any Balenciaga sunglasses. I didn't realize that until I was like looking for some for this video, but I don't think I own any. At least when I looked through them. <clears throat> but I have several scarves in them. I, My mom and I are both huge fans of Balenciaga scarves. They do really cool prints on their scarves. So I have quite a few. A lot of them are just these kind of squared scarves. This one has insane coloring. Look how beautiful. I think it's like Maybe a, a forest print, a print of a forest. But yeah, there's this one. And then I have this one, which is like a purple themed one. This one I wear a lot. This one has, this one and this one both have gotten most to wear out of, I would say, out of all my scar my Balenciaga scarves. I also have this one, which is probably, this one's my least used scarf. I think it's because it's white and I get nervous about using this. This one just has, a massive like wolf or dog on it and then it has the sorry there's a truck going by that has Balenciaga all at the back um, you can see that and then this one this one's a really big this one is much cozier those ones are like silky and more satiny this one's like more cottony and like warm and cozy this one just says Balenciaga in light blue, I think, across like a big print. Yeah, so this one's like, you would think this one's my most used because it's really easy to throw. Ooh! 
I just got my nail caught in it. There. Yeah, look, it's not too bad. Let's just leave it. <laughs> and then I believe the last scarf that I have from Balenciaga is this one, which I do get a lot of wear out of in the wintertime as well because it's nice and thick and it's like really simple black and white Balenciaga. Kind of in your face though, but it's kept me very warm. Okay, so I think I'm going to do the shoes first and then get into the ready to wear. First pair are these really hefty um, shoes from, well, from Balenciaga. <laughs> and they look like they have staples in it, which is what I liked about this shoe. It looks like it's been stapled. Um, it's super heavy, not ideal for traveling. Honestly, it's just not ideal at all. I get so tired walking in them. They're like, they are a weight. But they look really, really cool. And yeah, they're for a specific outfit. I also have these really simple loafers from Balenciaga. It's just got red, not red, <laughs> green, like a forest green, leather on the outside bit, and like this felt gray bit there. These are some of my most favorite heels in my collection, just purely because of the really cool back. I love the shape of this heel so much, and of course the color is just super bright and vibrant, and I really like that. And I've just been really into this green recently, so that's why I have been loving this. Um, although I haven't worn this too many times, maybe like two or three times. Um, it's not the most easiest to style. Yeah, I love this, especially when you have like a very like uh, toned down, like monochromatic look. You just like pop in a neon color, just like immediately makes it so much more cooler. So I love this shoe for that, or this heel for that. And then I have these boots, which are actually... Probably my most worn Balenciaga shoes I own. Um, you can tell with by the heel. Look how you see the heel. It's just worn. I'm going to have to bring this back and get it a little bit. I mean, you can see that I've completely trashed the heel. I'm going to have to get this like sorted. But they're super comfortable. I can run in this. They're obviously black, so they go with everything. And they have just been the best boots ever. I also have these ones which are very popular Balenciaga boots with the massive B mirrored B's at the front there. This has fallen off once which is kind of annoying but I just brought it in and they fixed it in no time so that was really nice. Um, but yeah another pair of great Balenciaga boots. I don't wear these as much as the, other, the pair I just shared with you guys but this is another very easy one to style and easy to transition from day to evening, so that's really nice. I think I may have preferred this one if it had if it had like a taller um, bit here. I think it would be nice if it was a taller boot. These are adorable. I love them. I snagged them at Liberty on sale, plus I had a gift card, I believe, so it was on a super, super discount. But I, abs abs I absolutely love the color. So vibrant, so fun. Um, I've only been able to wear these maybe twice on vacation, <clears throat> so I definitely want to be able to wear them some more. It's not really shoes I would wear in London, um, for no particular reason. They're not too high, so they're fine, but I guess I just haven't had the chance to wear them here, usually just on vacation. The knife boots are the last two pairs of shoes or boots from Balenciaga that I own. Um, I have a black pair which I recently hauled from TK Maxx. I recently shared that. It's a couple sizes too big for me, but it still works perfectly fine. It's very comfortable to walk in and yeah, it still fits. These ones are the pair that I bought when they first came out with the, with the knife boot. I absolutely, of course, love this one still so much more. I mean, come on, the colors, the pattern, like it's just so beautiful. I am so obsessed. I don't regret these at all. Ready to wear time. We're gonna start it easy. We're gonna do with de we're gonna do denim first. Three pairs of denim, honestly, Balenciaga denim are some of my favorite designer denim. Um, the first pair I bought were this pair. I got this in Vancouver several years ago, maybe two years ago. And I am obsessed with this, still wear it a lot. It has like this Balenciaga print at the back, very faint, so it's not really in your face. You can't really tell unless you go really up to it. Like the print on its own is also quite faint. The second pair, a Balenciaga of jeans I got are these ones and they're just really wide-legged jeans actually they're quite low waist as well um, again with the buttons not the zipper nothing at the back it's just a wide pair of um, 
denim, which I really like. It just kind of gives a really like effortless like boyfriend jeans kind of thing. And the most recent pair of Balenciaga jeans I picked up whilst I was in Paris are, um, are this pair. And this one has the cut on the butt, which I really like. This very subtle but effective little detail. Okay guys, I think it might start getting random. Um, because I've just piled everything on top of each other, I think I'm just gonna like pull randomly. I don't know, I'm not gonna categorize them. Um, sorry about that. Hopefully it's not too confusing, but I have a couple pieces in front of me first. I have this Balenciaga knit top, which I love. Um, I love that they come out with this in like lots of different colors. Every season is a different color. Um, so just be patient, wait for the right color. I have this teddy jacket that my mom gave me a while ago. I've had this for a long, long time. This has seen me through so many winters. I absolutely love this teddy jacket because, simply because it's just so easy to throw over everything. Um, everything, all the details are black. I love the buttons, the leather buttons, and then the collar bit. Of course, it's got nice pockets. Um, on both sides here and then the back just has this leather detailing which I really like as well so yeah this is also super warm great for layering as well so I just love this for like I don't know ev literally an everyday jacket I won't talk too much about this dress because of course I just recently shared it but oh, I still love this dress so much I hope I find a reason to wear it again even though it was my birthday dress I don't generally like to I don't usually like to rewear like occasional dresses I like to hold the memory I know some people have their opinions on that but that's just how I like to um, hold my memory on my clothing these pants I need to get rid of soon because these are tiny 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 I found them recently and I was like these are never gonna fit me again so friends um, Message me if you are size, like, I don't even know what the freak the size is because it's so small. Size 34. I'm definitely not a 34 anymore. Um, I love, like, I mean, you have to feel the, uh, the leather on this. It's so buttery, soft, and luscious, and just smooth, and just, oh, so nice. And then I love this, like, uh, stitching detailing on the knee there. It's just made so insanely beautifully. There's a bit of a zip down there as well so stunning this is actually a dress i wore for another birthday i think my 21st birthday or my yeah 21st or 22nd one of them for one of the dinners i wore this little green number so again balenciaga and this green i have this like i think i like balenciaga when he when they use this um color it's just got a really interesting knot by the shoulder bit um very pretty satin dress and what I like about this is like obviously you can wear this for evening very fancy but also um, you can throw over like a, a denim jacket and make it more casual this is probably one of my favorite Balenciaga archive pieces um, I absolutely love this stunning dress I remember seeing it um, displayed in its own little cabinet on its own with like with its own flashlight at it not flashlight um, spotlight at it and I thought it was the most stunning dress I love the pattern on it even though it's quite big I know someone someone told me I looked really big wearing it without a belt but I kind of like that I love the flowiness of it and the flow of it I don't mind looking a little big for this dress look at the stitching at the back the p attention to detail is so amazing and the material feels so nice on to a more simpler piece I have this Honestly, it's just like a really simple gray throw over t-shirt dress. I have two little black dresses to share with you from Balenciaga. I love both of them so much. They're kind of like my first like big girl little black dresses that I owned. Um, this one is a little bit more older. Um, it'll be easier to see in the pictures, but yeah, this one's a little bit more older. Um, it has like this like kind of looks like a scarf almost across the chest and it cinches in at the waist with some pockets I believe oh wait no there's no po oh just kidding no pockets and then just a really simple pencil skirt at the bottom and like this top part here kind of goes into a bit of a cape, cape kind of design at the back really really pretty 
really timeless. This one is much more fun, and I wear this one a lot more than I wear that one. And it's just another simple little black dress, thinner straps, simple kind of tank top bit, and then it's just peplumed at the bottom. These peplums are quite thick, so they're very structured. The materials, of course, you can imagine they use are just super luscious. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's silk. Another favorite piece for Balenciaga. Again, one of those spotlight moments. Such a gorgeous blazer. It has normal sleeves, but the actual body of this coat, or sorry, a blazer, first of all, has insane buttoning down the front, which don't worry, you don't actually have to button everything up. It's zippered at the back. But this body bit is like literally like a cape. It's huge. Let me can tell. So when you walk, there's movement at the back of this. You can see on the inside, it's corseted here on the waist. So the idea is to cinch in the waist and then have the back of this flowing. Of course, I have the very popular Balenciaga denim oversized jacket. Again, these come out with lots of different colors every season, so if you feel like you're missing out, don't worry. Again, with this one, I love the wash of this denim as well, which is why I got the one with the yellow. Of course, the different colors come with different washes, so you just have to see. Um, so I love this one because I have because I have this blue one as well, so I kind of want to go with a much lighter denim for this one. This one I ha I've had for several years. Um, it's just a really medium kind of thickness jacket <laughs> it'll keep you warm but it's not the warmest it has really big beautiful silver buttons and it has this kind of cocoon shape which is really nice and cute i just love the little bit buttons at the back as well i was so happy when i bought this because i got it on sale and i had planned on getting this full price so getting it half off it was 50 percent off when i purchased it was um, such a treat but it's just this really amazing gingham kind of um, or like houndstooth pattern uh, coat or jacket jacket I would say yeah jacket um, it has this really cool shape to it um, this hourglass shape which is really the main point about this jacket which I really really like amazing pockets. Another jacket, this one is a gorgeous grey jacket, very structured, the shoulders are quite big and when it's worn it's quite um, it's quite sharp, that's the word I was looking for, it's quite sharp on the shoulder which I really like. Um, I love like they added this kind of bit here, this uh, elastica elasticated bit, it makes it look more casual and big motorcycle kind of type pockets, plain back. Again, another really easy to layer jacket. This is a really super cute set from Balenciaga. This is the top of it. Hopefully you guys can see that it's got this really, really cool kind of laser cut detailing throughout the top, just above the chest area, right across the chest and the arms. It's right across the chest here as well. So it looks really beautiful on the chest, of course. And then I also got the matching skirt which is just a simple pencil skirt, but again, it's got the really stunning laser cut at the bottom here. So it looks really cute. I actually haven't worn them together. I've worn them separately, but they do look really cute together. And the top is very boxy. It has a really big kind of boxy shape to it. The shoulders are structured, so that's really nice. So I've got two of these kind of boyfriend shirt style type shirts <laughs> and this one is just a bog standard blue and white striped boyfriend type shirt with the long string ties at the front which I like to just le leave hang hanging down. Um, mine has the red Balenciaga on the back. I got this the same time as the jeans in Vancouver. I love this top a lot. I've worn this plentiful times and then <clears throat> I also got this one which is really cool. I've worn, I haven't worn it too many times because it's not the most easiest top to wear because look at these sleeves. These kimono sleeves are, they're a lot like crazy. I don't mind walking around in them. It's just like they get in the way. If I'm like eating, if I'm trying to do something, these sleeves get in the way. So um, it's not the most practical, 
but I think it's beautiful. I love this kimono style fabric and design. Very beautiful. This one does not have Valenciennes on the back or anything. It's just um, the really cool sleeves. This next piece is probably one of my oldest pieces. I probably have had this for like six to ten years, something like that. Something, I've had this for ages um, and I still do wear it to this day because of how cozy, comfortable and soft it is. It's 100% cashmere. It is stunning. I actually have mentioned a okay, motorbike. <laughs> I actually have mentioned I don't love yellow on me but for this, for some reason this shade of yellow I love. It's got a low cut at the back which is really sexy. I have this fun knit from Balenciaga which I really like. I like that it looks ripped everywhere um and then on these sleeves there's like a thumb hole on both sleeves which i really like i like a thumb hole really fun vibrant i think we've just gone down to the last ready to wear piece i've like only looked through my closet once i bet you i'm gonna like find more things later but for now this is what i think i have this is the last piece on my pal at the moment and it is this really oversized massive knit again i got this in vancouver um it has like an attached um, scarf, Balenciaga scarf with like this leopard print that goes all the way to the back as well. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of interesting and cool. It's just a huge knit and it's just super warm and feels like a massive like cozy blanket when you're wearing it. Guys, how can I forget to show you this part here? This part, I don't know if you can see, it looks like it's been cut, the back has been cut. Can you tell? Looks like the back has been cut. That probably sounded like much more odd. The concept of that sounds much more odd than actually wearing it. When it's on, it doesn't feel like that odd. It's actually really cozy and warm. But um, yeah, it does sound like such an odd concept to have like the back of it like cut and hanging down. But anyways, um, those are the, that's the last item that I have in London. I'm now going to insert um, footage of my ready to wear, uh, Balenciaga ready to wear in Vietnam. All right, guys, I'm just going to speak in the background. I think this is the easiest way to share this part. Um, I'm looking horrific right now, so luckily we've got some footage from Vietnam. The first top is this gorgeous um, baby blue blouse. Um, so one of my earlier pieces. It is very flattering, very flowy, just very feminine and very airy. I really like it. I love the massive black buckle at the top to fasten and it, just the cinch detailing at the, around the neck is very unique. Um, the second top is just a really simple uh, like a bluish gray knit nothing too exciting about it besides these interesting kind of uh, cutouts by the shoulder area not something you see very often the next one's a little bit funny because the buttons button all the way to the top and leave a very small hole so when I first put this on I was like what the heck this is so odd but um, I realized afterwards you're not supposed to button the whole thing up you're supposed to leave a couple buttons um, or one or two so it made more sense that way. I just loved it because it's the softest thing ever. It's my, it's probably literally the softest um, knitwear that I own. As well as that, in a very similar material, I also have this top, which looking at it now isn't the most flattering on, um, but honestly, I wore this more for the warmth of it. It is super, super warm. It's like the same material, so they're both equally the most softest and warmest um, knitwear that I have, which is odd because they're in, both in Vietnam right now um, and not in London. This is one of my favorite pieces um, in my earlier collection. It's super interesting. It's got this like leopard kind of design on it um, and it's got a maroon and it's like a light, like grayish blue tone um, at the top. Um, it's just overall a really cozy cardigan. I don't own a lot of cardigans, but I love this one. Next, um, I think we bought at the same time, is this super simple, but really cute and colorful um, tiger print top. Uh, I just love the pops of orangey red. It's really fun and it's just easy to throw on. Um, I've got a couple t-shirts. This is a super simple one. I think this may have belonged to my mom and I might have taken it from her actually, but um, I think this one just has a print of a door and some chairs. This next t-shirt has a really interesting upper half in general because of the shoulders. It kind of looks like a muscle tee, like an oversized muscle tee. Um, I like the crack, 
cracked kind of design on both sides. Um, again, just a simple tee to throw over. This next shirt is a bit more fancy with the Cinderella opening at the front. Um, and it's got like a checkered kind of pattern on it. Very faint, very um, subtle. But yeah, overall a really cute little kind of baby doll kind of top. This t-shirt is probably my favorite Balenciaga t-shirt I own. I just absolutely love the pattern. That's literally it. I also have the matching denim, I believe, but um, I'm not sure where it is. I didn't see it, I guess, in my Vietnam apartment. Um, maybe it's here, but I haven't seen it yet. This next piece is super special. Um, I really wanted to bring it back to London, but my suitcase was absolutely packed. But this coat is so stunning. It's it's quite a lightweight coat, but it does have some heat resistance to it. I really like that. I love these faux leather kind of um, massive, massive oversized pockets at the front. Very um, oversized kind of cape coat style, which I really like. So really easy to throw over and layer and actually would be really nice in my London closet, but um, it's in Hanoi for now. All right, guys, hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed seeing my entire Balenciaga collection video. Um, leave any comments you guys have or suggestions of other collection videos you guys want to see. I've got plenty of time to film now, so we would be happy to. Um, yeah, let me know. Hit the subscribe button if you, guys haven't, if you guys haven't already and would like to come and catch up with me again. I would really appreciate it, and until my next video, I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!